Hello, my name is Tony Burtis, lead investigator of Western Door Paranormal. Welcome to our show. For tonight's case, we're going to be in Angola at the Pigman's Road. The Pigman's Road is one of the more famous or infamous locations in Western New York that has got quite the reputation for paranormal activity. Um, the big story behind Pigman's Road centers around a man, of course, known as the Pigman, because he had a tendency to take pigs' heads, put them on stakes, and put them around his house to ward off kids and stuff like that. But the thing is, there's a little bit darker side to that story. Now, the story changed through generations like any story does. It had him murdering and burying many kids in his yard. It had him doing one kid. It had him uh, being the victim of a lynch mob. It had him being arrested and simply carved off the jail. Nobody really for sure knows exactly what happened to the infamous pigman. But there are some say that the residual effects of pigman continue around here to this day. Also, there's a stretch of train track over here that leads directly to the site of the Angola Horror, where a train went off a trestle and burned all the occupants alive. Now, I've had a few people out here before, and they say that they see shadow people. Some of them even burned in the facial features. They've seen them running around here, they've seen lights, they've seen orbs. So we're gonna see if we can pick up on that. Also, there's another little legend about Pigman's Road that we're not going to encourage. They say that if you stop your car under the bridge, roll out the windows, honk three times, people will, the spirits will throw rocks at you. Well, one thing this area is known for is being a party spot. So it's my personal belief that there are kids just waiting for people to do something like that. So we're not going to be doing that here today. Um, another legend has it that if you stop your car in the tracks, which of course as we can see is impossible, an unseen force will actually push your vehicle off the tracks. Well, the tracks are up there on a trestle, so I really don't know how that works out. But we're going to rock Pigman's Road tonight. We're going to see if we can catch activity. Can we debunk Pigman's? Maybe. <laughs> okay, one of the dangers of an investigation like, like this is traffic. As you can see, that's a one-lane bridge. Now, what we've experienced already a few times is cars just simply flying through here. So whenever you're doing a case like this, on your, you know, on your own or with the group, always be aware of the traffic because it can get very dangerous. At night, we're also going to be wearing reflective tape on our, on our shirts and stuff like that. This way, when a car does come, they can actually see us. When you're doing things like this, safety is a must. Now, this next clip here is another example of a very odd clip. Now, I'm going to have to leave this open for your judgment. Now, Carney was doing his usual thing, asking if the spirit on the road is indeed Pigman. Now, what responds is a little different. It could be a frog, it could be any other wildlife that was with us that night. Or, it could be a spirit. Either way, it is my opinion that it clearly says Pigman in response to what he said. It also could have easily been a frog somewhere just croaking away and making a very similar sound. I will tell you this because I, you know, as an investigator, I do like to be objective. So it was a clip that could, in my opinion, go either way. So I decided to include this and see exactly what you think. It does eerily to me sound a lot like something saying pigman, but it could, again, easily be the wildlife. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. Are you the famous famous ghost they call a pig man? The very legend pig man. There was a 2.0 mark that debunks that. As, as you like, get the, over here, it's still like 1 1.7, 1 1.9. 1 
All right, is there anybody in this location of this field area that is here standing right next to us? Can you make the this EMF go higher? Higher than 1.9? Like you see it. So we say that like 2.0. Steady pace with it. Look at that. Wow. Are you the one they call Pigman? Yeah, right. You know what you're doing? You got it? Just make it sure. You don't know what you're doing, do it. Right behind. Yeah. Spell, it even spells it out for you. On. O N. Oh, that's some big ones. Just a little lesson, Carney. I'll just give me a little, a little. What, what's your voice recorder? That is my voice recorder. No, 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 no. I thought you were ordering like a new one off. Oh yeah. I am. So? Why don't you just buy a random one? Damn it. Yeah, right. Probably. It's Babcock, they followed us already. No. Okay, where do you want to start? Car. <coughs> this is another session that we were trying to communicate and gather the identities of the spirit at Pigman's Road, or in many cases, spirits. And once again, our investigator Carney asked the question, are you the pig man? Well, this time, instead of getting any kind of random vocal response that we can understand, it comes across as a grunt or some kind of growl. Now, some of my investigators were hearing that on and off during the course of the evening. Is it paranormal? Not really sure again. It could have been some kind of wild animal or whatever. But what's interesting with this is obviously I was filming at the time of the clip, I heard nothing even remotely like this. And none of us were hungry either, so our stomachs weren't growling. So, either way, it's a very interesting clip. Nice quiet out here. There's no disturbances. Please let us know. Couple spikes right over there. Is is this you? That's here with us right now. That's um makes EMF go off. Is this is the famous pig man they call around here? Are you trying to communicate with us? If this is you, can you um make these numbers go higher? Oh, look at that. 1.3, 1.2. Seems like it has a him towards that field right there. All right, if you, if you feel you don't wish to communicate at all, whatsoever, can you make noise for us? Now, this is a very exciting VVP because this is something that everybody heard straight out while we were investigating. Now, it's a voice that says, gotcha. Now, when this happened, Chelsea heard it, Zach heard it, and Ton heard it, and everybody responded to it. Now, we double checked at the point when the voice actually came through there was no one saying anything like that so it could have been one of the other investigators plus it seemed to come out of the tree line deep into the trees it's a pretty exciting VVP and I'm really glad we caught it VVP video voice phenomenon
See, I'm not even sure that this particular one even qualifies as a VVP. Because something like that is something that you actually don't hear, but you catch on tape. This was real crystal clear. It was right there, and it was live, and everyone heard it. And I'm just really, really stoked that we actually caught it on video. So here it is. I'm just desperately trying to go where all the lights are because my lights have scattered. It's killing me. I just heard someone say, gotcha. Did you hear that? Yeah, you I heard, heard that. that too. Where? Um, when you like, I don't know what you were oh, talking right about there, something I and I heard gotcha. gotcha. I heard, I didn't know you, if you said it or something. No, I, I didn't say anything like that. I heard it right over there and I, I heard gotcha. I heard, I heard gotcha. gotcha. We just had someone come across with us, as we often do in these investigations, live and give us a pretty interesting story. They didn't want to come on camera, so I'll tell it for them. They came down one late night last week, and they saw some logs on the other side of the uh, viaduct that's known as the, the bridge up here. And they wanted the logs, so they stopped, and they went to pick them up. When they did so, they heard a, a blood-curdling scream. It was crossed between an animal and a human being, quite inhuman. Well, of course, something like that would unnerve just about anyone, so they took off. Now, stories like this are typical of the stories we get here at Pigman Road. It's very interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our investigation group on the other side of the bridge, and we're going to do some work over there to see if we can either debunk or maybe pick up on this otherworldly scream. We came to the conclusion of another episode of Western Door Paranormal, Pigman's Road Edition. Did we conclusively prove that there's something at Pigman's Road? We had some evidence to back it up. We had some my own minor personal experiences. It took us two video shoots to actually shoot the episode. And we had the situation with the uh, passerby that came by and related to us the first story and then had another event right there during our event, our ghost hunt, and came to tell us about it and kind of we went that direction to see if we could follow it up for it. Well, here's the part where we show you some really good photos that we caught and some really good EVPs. Now, of course, the EVP is an electronic voice phenomenon, which is where you use a handheld recorder to capture voices that you don't hear audibly at the time. We got a few of those. And of course, again, we got a few pictures. I think it was a real good investigation. I think we got a step closer to unraveling some of the secrets of Pigman's Road. Not all of them. And there's going to need to be a lot more research done to get to the bottom of this. But uh, I think we had a real good case. I think it was, everyone did a real good job. So go ahead and enjoy the clips. And of course, thank you for watching Western Door Paranormal. And don't. This VV, EVP here at the 4455 point, we're going to hear a voice say jive. If you're out here, let us know. Okay, at about the 11651 point, something makes mention about the people in the car or makes some kind of mention about the green car.